Hi, I'm Phil O'Keefe, and I'm coming to you from Sound Sanctuary Recording here in Riverside, California. And today I'd like to answer a few questions that come up fairly frequently on my Studio Trenches forum at HarmonyCentral.com. And they pertain to the digital inputs on DigiDesign hardware, how to set them up, how to configure them, and what sorts of things you would use them for. For example, uh, what type of things could you use them for? Well, if you have a DAT recorder and you want to transfer the tracks digitally from your DAT recorder into your MBOX, or let's say you have a 8-channel microphone preamp with a 8-channel optical digital output on it and you want to expand the amount of mic preamps that you have available for use with your system. Or you could use an outboard A to D converter of some sort to bring extra line inputs or extra inputs from your mic preamps into your Pro Tools system. All of those are possible uses. The first thing that you have to give consideration to is which of the two jacks you're going to connect with. First of all, not all systems have both types of jacks. For example, the MBOX only has the coaxial, which looks like an RCA jack, SPDIF input. That input carries up to two channels of audio as well as word clock data embedded in its signal. We'll get to word clock in a second here. The ADAT optical input is on a Toslink connector and it can either carry eight channels of digital audio in the ADAT format or it can be configured as an optical SPDIF input. So you can set that in your Pro Tools software for your preferences and set that up the way you want to configure it and use it. If you're using an external microphone preamp with a 8-channel digital output, you would need to connect that to the optical input on your system and then you need to configure your system and set your software so that the word clock for your Pro Tools system is synchronized or slaved to the incoming embedded word clock data from the external device. You also could do the same thing if you're using an SPDIF input on your system instead of the ADAT light pipe input. So we're going to walk you through that, show you how to set up all those settings in your Pro Tools software so that you can use those extra inputs. The very first thing that you're going to want to do is connect the output of the digital audio device that you want to use as the master clock source to the corresponding digital input on your Pro Tools interface. For example, if you want to transfer files from a DAT recorder directly into your MBOX, you would take the SPDIF out of the DAT, which is on an RCA style coax jack, and connect that directly into the digital SPDIF input on your MBOX. Then you would launch Pro Tools, and once the software has completed loading, you'll see a screen that looks like this. You want to select the setup menu from the top of the screen and select the hardware option which will open a screen that will look a little bit different depending on what version of Pro Tools you're running and what hardware you have connected. I'm running an HD system with two 96 IOs but it'll look very similar if you're running an MBOX or a Digi003. You want to select the clock source. You notice there's several options. Internal, SPDIF, optical ADAT and word clock and you'll only see word clock if you have an HD system or a Digi003. Since we've connected an SPDIF cable in the coax format we would want to select SPDIF from this list. If you were sending your digital audio out via a optical ADAT device you would select that option. There are two different types of optical settings and you have a selection on this screen for both SPDIF coax on the RCA style coax jack or via an optical or light pipe style digital connection and if you select optical SPDIF then your ADAT option will not work. It's also very important that you have the sample rates of both devices set properly if the output of your DAT recorder is at 48 kilohertz, then your Pro Tools session should also be set to 48 kilohertz. And that's basically it. Click OK, and then when you play back the audio from your DAT recorder into your Pro Tools system, the word clocks will align.
Although you are changing the master word clock source for your system, all of your mic preamps and your other audio interface input and output should work as normal. So this allows you to transfer digital audio, but you could also use your onboard mic preamps on your Digi003 to record audio while using an external A to D converter to send audio into the 8-channel optical interface, the ADAT light pipe interface on your Pro Tools system, giving you an expanded amount of inputs and outputs that you could use simultaneously. And that's the basics of setting up your digital inputs and configuring your software in Pro Tools. If you have any further questions, please feel free to stop by my Studio Trenches forum at www.harmony-central.com. Thanks for watching.